pH is vital for plants because at different pHs, plants absorb different nutrients. You want to optimize the pH so that your plants can absorb as many nutrients as possible. The perfect pH is debatable, but for seedlings, we like to use 5.8, and as they age, you can gradually increase it to 6.2. Most tap water is around 7 to 7.5, so we want to bring that level down. We have a video showing you how you can do this with lemons, which you can view on our channel. For this video, we'll be using pH down along with the pH meter to get a more precise pH level. It's worth noting that most pH kits come with an indicator, but we find it's much easier just to use a meter. A useful tip is, instead of buying the pH up and pH down kit, just buy the pH down and a pH meter. The first thing I'm going to do is turn my pH meter on and submerge it into my unbalanced water up to this line. Wait for about 10 seconds until a reading stabilizes. Once you get a reading, remember the level or write it down. Now, my water is registered at 6.94, which I want to bring down about a full point. Since I'm bringing the pH level down, I'm going to be using pH down. To bring it down a full point, it usually takes about a half a milliliter, but for the purpose of this video, I'm going to start with about a quarter. Be careful not to get any of this directly on your hands, and gloves should be used if you're not careful. So here's the first quarter. Shake, mix, now read. Okay, now it's 6.61. So basically, a quarter brought it down about a third of a point. Now let's add about one more quarter, shake, and now you see, it's at 6.31. So I'm just gonna keep on adding pH down until I get the level I want. Now let's say I go overboard and bring it down to 5.3. All you have to do is add some tap water back into it and eventually it'll go back up. This is why we find pH up is useless and you will quickly find that it's much easier just to add basic water. Now quickly, let me show you how to use the indicator. All you need to do is fill the vial halfway up with the water you are testing, then add three drops of the indicator solution and shake it until the water is one solid color. Now, match the color with the color on the indicator vial and that will tell you the pH. That's pretty much it. If you have any questions, check out our Discord. We're active over there. And for more tips, reviews, and tutorials, check out howweedgrow.com.